Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna have for you today is going to be Sublimation Jerseys. You, 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 you. Go get a types YouTube channel. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, of course. And basically what we need to do is get our template straight. So first and foremost, what I'm gonna do is um you know the, the you know I'm printing from the uh, sawgrass. So we're gonna do 13 by 19. But you know the sawgrass printer, you need to size it down a little bit so you don't run into any issues. We're gonna go straight to new, then we're gonna go to inches. So 13 by 19, we're gonna do 12.8, or but you could do whatever. You could do um 12.7, it ain't gotta be 12.8. Uh, by 18.9 we don't want it to do 13 by 19 exactly because it starts to have error messages all right so what i'm going to do he wants some jerseys long story short what i do von Sino, book like book though all these are jerseys g dizzle sheet all right so what i'm going to do basically is go to this font called jersey m54 Oops. and then i'm going to type it in here cap locks of course uh the first one's gonna be boncino b o uh oh let's put the change the text color to black but we're going to be putting over a uh, what you call a color overlay so and s i n o all right cool so boncino we got that down packed and then we or 11. 11 is cool too, but we're going to do 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. And then his jersey number is number one. We're going to do eight inches for this one. All right. So transform. And then, of course, we're going to hold down the shift key while we're stretching it out to keep the proportions. There we go. We see eight inches. Height, eight inches. There we go. Slide this up a little bit, like so. Make sure it's in the center. And then what we're gonna do is this. We're going to actually go here. Um, I'm gonna go down to FX. And then we're gonna do a pattern overlay, right? We're gonna do a pattern overlay. We're going to do this because they like theirs, um, you know, they like theirs, like the camouflage fatigue look. I believe this is the one. Is this the one or that one? That's not the one. I think this is one. Yeah, this is the one for sure. And then we're just going to scale it down a little bit. Scale it up. There we go. Right there. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is right click on this. Uh, hold on. Right click on that and right click. All right. So then we're going to copy the layer style. Paste the layer style. Okay. Paste it. And then we have some other jerseys to do. Um, I'm just going to cut. I'm going to save this. Hold on. Let me save it first. Save as. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it as Boncino. Boncino 1. All right. And then we're going to do it as a JPEG. All right. JPEG. Perfect. 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 Save. Then it's gonna to save to my desktop. Cool, we're gonna keep it at 12. That way, once we um, send it to the printer, we could just, you know, it'll be already like formatted. All right, so I got all these other ones to do as well. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut it, and then the next shot is gonna be of me at the printer actually, okay? Possible, try to save you guys as much money as possible, because we all know this ink is like $60, which is cool, um, seeing as the replacement ink for the, um, the sawgrass is like $300, $400. This has been working for me pretty good. I tried to go even cheaper. Try this King Sun, King Sun ink. And this stuff is terrible. It's like it does not work for the printer at all. So I had to cut that video short. Um, had to get a refund. They sent me my money back. And that's the end of that story. So basically what it is, that's what I think is wrong with this King Sun ink. Is like the cartridge is too thin as opposed to the uh xc inkjet ink because like every time i were to plug it in like it would just say reset cartridge so i got my money back from this if you're online and you see king sun ink please do not buy this it will not 
work for your 800, but not where you might have issues. And the less issues, the better. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna load our ink up in two here. This th is the new XC Inkjet ink. It's bigger, all right. I uh, see, I need a CM, CMYK, all right. So we got that up in there, swish. All right, it's a reset cartridge. Now it's waiting. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's filled up. Click, 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 click. It shouldn't take too much longer. My fingers are crossed. I hope it works. Hope it works. Because I've been having some issues with this. And it kind of got my confidence level. Yeah, there we go. All right, so you, as you see, it's up. The, the King Sun ink, it doesn't even show you the level. So it's something wrong with this King Sun ink. Hey, King Sun. If you can um, reach out to me, this stuff does not work at all. Amazon gave me my money back. You guys sent another package. I don't even need it. If y'all need it, um, I don't know for what. Um, just let me know if y'all need it. It's a piece of, piece of trash. <laughs> so um, I got my other two. Um, I got my other two. I'm going to put these back into the box where it goes. The show must go on and on. All right, so we got 48% left on my laptop. Now, it's a couple of these things that I need to print out. And I'm gonna go to my print manager. I need to print, I think like eight of these things. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, all of my art is already like made up in Photoshop as you saw from the last video. Um, so what I'm gonna go to print manager, okay. We're gonna open local file, make sure our printer is connected. All right, make sure our printer is connected. All right, printer is on, that's on. We got some paper back up in there. All right, um, it's called SSDI Gorilla. All right, we're gonna open it up. All right, so this is my settings right here. I got a polyester fabric, high quality, text print R, source is gonna be auto, it's gonna autom automatically set to the bypass tray, cause that's what I have it set on the printer. Um, it was something I wanted to show you. All right, so I'm gonna click on layout. Uh, this is my layout settings, preserve layout from designer, cause I'm designing it. Um, I do not use Creative Studio whatsoever. Um, jobs, you see, as I, so, uh, as I showed you, uh, no red error messages because our size is 12.8 by 18.9. It's not exactly 32 by 19 because this gets a little crazy once you size it 13 by 19. Color, I have mine set to photo photographic. Um, color sure palette, whatever. Uh, photographic, bam. All right, other, it works for me. All right, so material, polyester, high quality, texture and art, auto. We are going to click print. And we're gonna do this for the remainder of the other ones as well. Now we all know that this printer does take a little while to actually print out. Um, I would say like roughly a minute. Um, that hasn't changed, but it's it's not bad after it finished print, printing out. Now the XC Inkjet Ink is totally worth it. It's worth the um, 60 bucks that I paid for it. This is a piece of trash. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so ready. It should be kicking in soon. Um, it usually pops up on here. There it goes. Oh, no, that's not what it is. But yeah, it's gonna pop up in a little bit. There it go. Bang, 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 bang. All right, cool. So now it's processing. Shooting through. All right. So we're gonna see how this, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see me unpackage it, unbox it. Um, design it, review this terrible ink. Do not buy this, even though the price, you know, may lure you to it. Do not buy it. Um, we're going to basically print this out, you know what I'm saying? It's still going, still going, still flowing. Let's see how it come out. I know the color's gonna pop because this XC inkjet. Oh my gosh, this stuff is perfect. Man. This stuff is good. I need to come up with my own ink line because this, I'm telling you, this ink is bomb. This joint is super bomb. 
All right, yeah, that's looking real good. Shoot, it's coming out. You know what I'm saying? The color's coming out like, it's coming out like it's came from the, from um, the whatchamacallit. And make sure whatever you do, keep water away from your dye sublimation prints because it'll mess it up. It's water, it's activated by water and heat. Basically, make sure you keep it away. All right, so better, I'm going to print all my other ones out. I'm going to cut this joint off and come back with you. All right, and we are back again. Basically, what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, making sure my heat press, once again, power heat press, same heat press from, what, two, three years, 10 years ago. All right, so I'm getting my heat press all the way up to uh, 400. Um, I'm going to do it for 60 seconds. These are going to be the jerseys. Look at my dog. Stop doing that, girl. All right, so these are my jerseys here um seem you know it seems like it's a little shortage going on i used to get the ultra club joints but now we got to switch to the a4s ultra club way better way better quality in my opinion but hey all this little uh stuff going on you I ain't gonna say no names because you know what i'm saying i ain't gonna say what's going on but y'all know what's going on you know we got a shortage on everything so long story short you got to improvise so these are the jerseys here um this is simple craft paper. This is just basic craft paper. Now, what I do usually, I just, you know, put the shirt on there. When I do the front, boom, flip it over because it's front and back. Um, basically, I do the do the back, put the back on there so that it doesn't, um, the image don't transfer to, you know what I'm saying, the pad and fuck it up, mess it all up. All right, so basically, yeah, it doesn't transfer onto the jump. Long story short, so I'm just gonna edit this. Um, the only thing we're doing is like medium, medium pressure. Um, after every shirt, I just cut out a new, you know, roll of, you know, craft paper. And once again, do not get this ink. This ink is horrible. Um, just to let you see, it's terrible. I'm gonna just throw it in the trash one by one because it's that freaking bad. It is horrible. I already got my money back from I have no use for these things. It's, it's terrible. All right, so by the time I come back, these jerseys should be ready and we're gonna prep them for, um, gonna prep them for like picture taking. And last thing, last thing but not least, um, these are what the transfers look like. Make sure you have your, your artwork, or if you're, if you're doing your own artwork, make sure you have your artwork set to 300 DPI. 300 DPI. If you don't, you're going to run into issues. Um, this XC Inkjet ink is good. It's really good. 300 DPI, no issues. This ink, no issues. The tape is still back there. Um, my settings are working. This has been a great printer so far with my adjustments um, that I've been you know putting on these little you know what i'm saying these little applications or whatnot so when i come back shirt's gonna be ready all right peace all right and y'all also um i don't recommend doing this but i do it sometimes i use a teflon sheet uh, for sublimation sometimes now there's possibilities that the image can't transfer but since i've been doing it so long um it happened to me a couple times but not with the jerseys um as long as you, as long as you have this, that's why I stress the importance of having, having this Teflon sheet. Um, because if you have it like on the pad, sometimes it can transfer onto your sheet and, um, you know, go to your, your, your polyester substrate. So, um, you can use just like, you know, more craft paper instead of Teflon, but, um, this should come up pretty good. Three seconds left. Uh, let me pop it up so y'all can see it. Usually I just do a little swift. See, look, bam, right there. So it's looking good. Looking really, really good. I'm gonna just do a little quick zoom. You can see how it came out. Um, the lines are on the edges. Okay, that can come out with like a little quick, quick little heat um, application. Put a little craft paper over. See, yeah, I will have to put like craft paper over top of that. Um, but yeah. Came out real good. That's that um, XC Ink Jet Ink. Okay, comes out popping. The blacks are rich and black. 
rich in black, looking good. Look at that dancing. Y'all can see that thing dancing now. And I'm gonna do a white, but matter of fact, I'm gonna just come back to it. All right, so this is for the white shirt. I just want you guys to see how the white is coming out. This is with the Teflon, of course. I'm gonna do a quick pull. Woo! Looking good, looking good. <sighs> now, what I usually do, I don't wanna be inhaling all this ink. <sighs> You know, this ink is, a, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of this ink. You know what I'm saying? These fumes, you know what I'm saying? What you want to do is uh, mess around. You might want to wear a mask with this ink. Um, any inks that you're dealing with when making t-shirts. Because, you know what I'm saying? You don't know how that affect your lungs. But um, came out real good. It's dancing. Color pop. Chawap. Just like how I designed it in Photoshop. All right. All right, and this is the end result of the jerseys. Uh, the jerseys are A4 jerseys. They came out wonderful. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. You already know it's your boy. Shadow, go get it typed. Back with another banger. <laughs> trying to sound like a YouTuber. With another banger. There's some, uh, some bomb sounds in there. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yeah, real good. Real good. XC Inkjet Ink. Um, yeah. Um, they looking good, man. Peace. There's like six of these things. Mm, look at that. They look good, man. All right, y'all. Take it easy.